Get ready to uncover a piece of history that'll blow your mind. When you think Brazil, you likely imagine breathtaking landscapes and the incredible Amazon rainforest. But what about the secrets hidden beneath the surface for thousands of years? Well, those secrets have just started to unravel with an astonishing discovery, an almost fully intact prehistoric body found in Brazil is sending shockwaves around the globe. Join us as we dive into this jaw-dropping find and explore how it's turning everything we thought we knew on its head. You won't believe what's making waves at Brazil's National Museum, a mysterious human skull that's taken center stage. This ancient cranium had been quietly tucked away for an astonishing 20 years, but recent in-depth analysis by Brazilian scientists has unearthed a monumental secret. It's the oldest human remains ever found in the entire Western Hemisphere. And here's the kicker, its surprise return to public display might just be the moment we finally give this incredible relic the recognition it truly deserves. Get ready to uncover the hidden history and untap significance of this jaw-dropping fossil. Meet Lucia, a trailblazer from Brazil's past. This incredible lady was first uncovered way back in 1974 by an all-star team of French and Brazilian archaeologists during a dig near Belo Horizonte. They stumbled upon her remains tucked away in a rock shelter, the perfect natural hideout for our ancient ancestors to call home. And what a find it was. Lucia's skeleton showed off some seriously impressive preservation skills, considering its age and the tough conditions it had been through. But here's an interesting twist. When they dug up Lucia, her skull was solo, not part of a complete skeleton. It was like she had saved her best look for last, and now she's ready to take center stage. Lucia's skull was a real gem, despite being separated from her skeleton. It was remarkably well-preserved, giving us a fascinating peek at what she looked like way back when. What's even more mind-blowing is where they found her buried under an astonishing 12 meters of mineral deposits and debris. That means over 39 feet of layers built up over time, kind of like an archaeological timesless cake. This unique burial site acted as a natural seal, protecting Lucia's remains from the outside world and keeping them in pristine condition. But getting to know Lucia hasn't been a walk in the park. It's taken some serious detective work to unravel her secrets. The countdown to uncovering Lucia's story began with a crucial clue dating back to 2013. Scientists dug deep and ran some radiocarbon tests on charcoal samples from the layer where they found her bones. The results were astounding. Lucia lived around 10-30 years ago, plus or minus 60 years. But when we look at it in bigger picture time, her age range stretches from 11 243 to 11 710 years ago. This puts Lucia in some seriously exclusive company. She's among the oldest human skeletons ever discovered in the Americas. And that's just the beginning. Forensic detectives also took a closer look at Lucia's remains and found out she was only in her early 20s when her journey came to an end. Let's take a step back in time and visualize Lucia. Imagine a young woman around 5 feet tall, average height for someone living thousands of years ago. Scientists have pieced together her story from just under one-third of her skeleton, giving us a fascinating glimpse into her world. It's believed she was 20 years old when her life came to an end, likely due to either a terrible accident or a fierce animal attack because there are no signs that she wasn't otherwise healthy beforehand. By studying Lucia's bones, researchers have been able to make some incredible inferences about her lifestyle and the community she belonged to. It seems she was part of a group of skilled hunter-gatherers, living off the land and moving with the seasons. This is what we can learn from the way her remains were found, a true testament to the rich history that surrounds us. So what can we learn from Lucia's life as a hunter-gatherer? For starters, her community was all about living off the land, they'd hunt for food and gather resources from their environment, just like many early human populations did before agriculture came along. It's true that Lucia passed away young, but it doesn't mean she didn't live an amazing life. And here's where things get really interesting. Researchers found flint tools near her remains, but she was the only human discovered in Vermella Cave, which means there might be more to the story about why she ended up there or how she was buried. But just as we were getting closer to uncovering Lucia's secrets, disaster struck, a devastating fire hit the National Museum in Brazil back in 2018, and it looked like Lucia's remains might have been lost forever. You won't believe the amazing twist that followed. Despite the museum fire appearing to be a total loss for Lucia's remains, firefighters made an incredible discovery parts of her skull were still intact. About 80% of the fragments, including crucial pieces like her forehead, nose, and cheekbones were found and identified, and it gets even better, a vital piece of her femur also survived the flames. So, what do Lucia's facial features tell us about our ancient ancestors? Her skull is super unique, with an oval shape, a prominent chin, and a face that sticks out. These traits set her apart from many Native American populations and their Siberian roots. It's like she's giving us a glimpse into what some of the earliest humans looked like. 
Let's dive deeper into what makes Lucia so special. Anthropologists have been studying her features to figure out where she fits into the big picture of human history. They've found some surprising similarities between Lucia's face and those of indigenous Australians, Melanesians, and Southeast Asia's Negritos. These comparisons are like a puzzle piece that helps us understand how ancient humans might have moved across continents and interacted with each other. In fact, Dr. Walter Neves from the University of Sao Paulo thinks that Lucia's features are closest to those of Australian Aboriginal peoples. This could mean there were some seriously old connections or shared roots between people in South America and Australia. That would totally shake up our current understanding of how humans first migrated and mingled around the world. Get ready to blow your mind. We've been thinking about how humans first reached the Americas all wrong. Traditionally, we thought that people came from Northeast Asia across the Bering Land Bridge during the last Ice Age around 15,000 to 20,000 years ago in what's known as the Beringian Migration Model. But if there were hidden connections between ancient human populations like the one we found with Lucia, it could mean our history books need a serious update. Instead of just one major event, it's possible that humans had an even more complex and earlier migration pattern across different parts of the globe. This would show us that the early inhabitants of the Americas didn't just come from one place, they might have been part of a much bigger story. Brazilian researchers like Dr. Walter Neves are now suggesting a new theory Lucia's ancient ancestors may have spent tens of thousands of years in Southeast Asia, even after leaving Africa, before making their way to the Americas. Mind-blowing, right? So let's dive deeper into this theory. If our ancestors spent a super long time in Southeast Asia, it would mean they had plenty of time to develop their own unique cultures, tools, and ways to survive. And then, when they finally did make the journey to the Americas, they wouldn't have been blank slates, but people with their own rich history. Now, you might be wondering how this fits into what we already know about human presence in the Americas. Well, there's a site called Monteverde in Southern Chile that's dated back around 18, 514, 500 years ago, which actually predates when Lucia's ancestors would have arrived according to this new theory. This tells us that humans might have been hanging out in the Americas even earlier than we thought. Some researchers are now exploring possible routes these ancient populations could have taken to get from Southeast Asia to the New World. It's a big mystery, but one thing's for sure, we're starting to see the early history of human migration as way more complex and fascinating than we ever imagined. So, one possible way our ancestors might have made it from Southeast Asia to the Americas is by sailing along the coastlines, think boats and the ocean breeze. They could have traveled through places like the Kuril Islands and followed the coastline down into what's now the west coast of the United States. But wait, we're not just talking about a quick boat ride. This would have happened during a time when huge chunks of ice were melting, so it was actually becoming warmer and more hospitable for humans. In 1998, scientists Walter Neves and Andre Pruss did some digging and dated Lucia's skull to around 11, 400 years old. Now, you might think everyone would agree on this age, but not quite. There are other experts like Rolando gonzalez Joes, Frank Williams, and William Armalagos who studied Lucia's remains too. They think that the unique shape of her skull and face could be because of natural changes in genetics and how our bodies develop over time. So, they're saying it might not necessarily mean she came from a specific group of people from Australia or Malaysia after all. Fast forwarding to November 2018, scientists from the University of Sao Paulo and Harvard University dropped some major bombshells. Using super advanced DNA sequencing techniques, they took another look at Lucia's genetic profile and found that it matched perfectly with Native American populations. This means her ancestry is straight-up Amerindian, not connected to people from Australia or Malaysia like we previously thought. This discovery doesn't just change the story of Lucia. It also makes us question our understanding of how humans migrated across the globe in the first place. Could there be more individuals out there, just like Lucia, that challenge what we know about human migration? Or was everything we knew off the mark? Now it's your turn. Share your thoughts in the comments. Were we wrong about human migration all along? Don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you love this video, and subscribe to our channel for more mind-blowing content just around the corner. We'll catch you in the next one, stay curious.